Suspension bridges are the most stunning and impressive structures in the world. These bridges are known for their long spans and elegant designs that connect cities, countries, and even continents, making travel easier and more efficient. Many of these bridges have become famous for their beauty and engineering. In this video, we will explore some of the most famous suspension bridges in the world and learn about their history, design, and what makes them special. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Let's dive into the video. Number 5. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a world-famous suspension bridge that spans the Golden Gate Strait, connecting San Francisco to Marin County in California. It had a main span of 4,200 feet and a total height of 746 feet. Early in the 20th century, the project of building a bridge across the Golden Gate Strait became possible after being talked about since the late 1800s. The idea was first put forward in a 1916 piece in the San Francisco Bulletin by James Wilkins. Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss oversaw the project and came up with the idea for a hybrid bridge with a cable-supported span held up by cantilever beams. The original plan wasn't thought to work, so Strauss had to change it to a pure suspension bridge design. Early in 1933, construction began, and it was finished early in 1937 on budget. At the time of its completion, the bridge was the longest and tallest suspension bridge in the world. Its construction was a significant achievement, especially considering the strong tides, deep water, and frequent fog in the Golden Gate Strait. Number 4. Akashi Keikyo Bridge There is a suspension bridge called the Akashi Keikyo Bridge, which is also called the Pearl Bridge. It links the city of Ko on the Japanese shore to the island of Awaji. This suspension bridge, which opened in 1998, has a main span of 6,532 feet. The bridge idea was first put forward in 1955, but it took many years of planning and preparation before work could begin. Many problems came up with this project, like having to stand up to strong typhoons and earthquakes in the area. Modern engineering methods were used in the design of the bridge to make sure it is stable and safe. Each of the main wires is 13 inches across and is made up of 290 separate strands of steel wire. The towers, which are 1,001 feet tall, are made to move with the wind to keep the structure from getting too stressed. Number 3. Brooklyn Bridge The Brooklyn Bridge crosses the East River and connects New York City's neighborhoods of Manhattan and Brooklyn. It is a mix of a cable stayed and a suspension bridge. It was the world's largest suspension bridge at the time it was built, with a main span of 1,595 feet. The bridge was planned by John Augustus Roebling, a German-American engineer who had already planned some well-known bridges. Building started in 1869, but there were many delays and failures, such as Roebling's death from tetanus in 1869 and his son and successor, Washington Roebling, getting Cason disease and coming very close to dying. Even with all of these problems, the Brooklyn Bridge was finished and opened to the public on May 24, 1883. It quickly became a sign of how strong the city was and how powerful creativity and drive can be. Number 2. Humber Bridge The Humber Bridge, which opened in 1981, is a great example of British engineering. With its bridge over the Humber estuary, it links the east riding of Yorkshire to North Lincolnshire. With a main span of 4,626 feet, it was the world's longest single-span suspension bridge when it opened. Freeman Fox and Partners planned the bridge, and the Cleveland Bridge and Engineering Company built it. The two towers of the Humber Bridge are 510 feet above the water and hold up the road with main lines. When the bridge was being planned, it had to take into account the tricky conditions of the Humber estuary, which includes strong tides and changing riverbanks. To make sure it would be stable and last a long time, it was built using new methods and careful planning. Number 1. Milaw Viaduct The Milaw Viaduct, completed in 2004, is a cable-stayed bridge in southern France, close to the town of Milaw. It crosses the valley of the River Tarn. One of its pylons is 1,125 feet tall, making it the world's tallest bridge. In the 1980s, the idea for the bridge was first put forward. However, it took several years of planning and preparation before work could begin in 1998. 
French civil engineer Michael Verlejoux and British architect Norman Foster were in charge of the project. They came up with a sleek, elegant building that would blend in with the landscape as little as possible. The Milaw Viaduct is made up of seven concrete pylons over 800 foot tall that hold up the road with a system of wires. The largest cable stayed span in the world is the main span, which is 1,125 feet long. The deck of the bridge is made of steel and concrete, and it is meant to be light and airflow friendly so that wind doesn't damage the construction. Despite being very big and technically complicated, the Milaw Viaduct was finished in just over three years. This was only possible by using new building methods and pre-made parts. The bridge has become a symbol of French engineering prowess and a popular tourist spot. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates. Thank you.